what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i want to talk about a decent point of the recent curse of osiris dlc stream which in my opinion is a step in the right direction for sure it's something which basically gives us reason to play the game for uh, ones in which total or longer than a few hours per week but before we go any further people if you want to be with a chance of winning some weekly loot giveaways simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description Okay, so within the latest Bungie stream, we learned a few new things about the DLC. Not many things of great, but one thing which, in my opinion, is kind of a bright light into this game's dark future, so it seems. And that is the Lighthouse Weapon Reward System. So this is what we know so far. Here within the Lighthouse, upon completing the campaign missions for the Curse of Osiris DLC, we have the further options to obtain 11 new Curse of Osiris Vex themed weapons. Here I initially thought there would be armors for us to obtain too, but it has been confirmed that it is just weapons here. So within the lighthouse we have Vendor Vance, who brings Lost Prophecies. Osiris wrote his Lost Prophecies on these six-sided tablets and hid within them a secret for the Guardian whose deeds he foresaw. So in all there are 11 of these kind of packages you acquire, or verses, as they are known. Vance I believe will bring three of them per week which in turn means at least 4 weeks of logging in each weekly reset and having something to do after the initial boredom kicks in. What each of these verses represent are individual weapons, the Vex theme weapons we have seen throughout the teaser trailers for the Curse of Osiris. So verse 3 upon stream is picked up and explained upon. So these verses are basically mini quests on things you have to do and obtain to forge these weapons. You can see on this one that you need three things of two different items. One concentrated radiolarian culture and two advanced paradox amplifiers. So what the heck are these things you are wondering? Well when you go into the details of the verse, it tells you where you get these things needed to forge this weapon. As we see here, there are different activities you need to do in which you can get these drop. The Paradox Amplifier you can get by completing strikes, crucible matches and heroic activities on Mercury. And the Radiolarian Culture is obtained from public event chests. Now obviously these drop on an RNG basis which in my opinion is great and what's needed for the game. But it is all what's needed to get these weapons. So once you've gotten these items, you then simply use them within your inventory to fill the verse. Then simply head to Vance. He then gives you a fulfilled tablet. Then you head to the forge within the lighthouse. This is connected to a kind of plaque on a wall which holds 11 nodes. Each of these nodes represent individual weapons. They light up upon you completing that verse and obtaining that weapon. So you head to this forging machine and forge the weapon and bam you are rewarded the weapon for the verse you complete. Here for verse 3 it's the Jack Queen King 3 a energy hand cannon. Now I actually love the design of these things, I truly do, and the reason I do state this is a step in the right direction is because Bungie is delivering new end game, which is most importantly what we want and what this game needs. It needs longevity, we need reasons to continue playing the game, and this, although not many are known about, is definitely a step in the right direction for sure. So there are 11 weapons here, but I did notice a couple of different weapons of the same type within these teaser trailers, which is pretty cool. So yes, people, I am praising Bungie. Like I said, when they deliver, I will do so indeed. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. It really does help me out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Get it right.